Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so I have decided that for the entire month of November, starting right now, I am going to do a low spend November in preparation for the upcoming holiday season. So that means I'm just gonna use stuff that I have on hand and just only buy the necessities from the grocery store. I figured I'd start now rather than waiting until January. So for dinner tonight, we are having some good old Kraft macaroni and cheese, and then Howard grilled some wings for us that I had in the freezer. I used this barbecue, um, this Asian barbecue rub that I actually picked up from Kroger a while back ago. They were remodeling my Kroger and getting rid of a lot of stuff. And this Everson Spice Company, they have some really good spices. So I used that as a marinade. And then I just sauteed some fresh Brussels sprouts in pancetta and just used a little bit of um, seasoned salt on, on the Brussels sprouts. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so our dinner tonight is coming from Trader Joe's. I recently did a Trader Joe's haul and that video will be out soon, but we are having one of our favorite tarts and it is this tart that has the caramelized onions and Swiss cheese. It is very, very good. Um, you do have to cook, bake it longer than directions call for. It calls for 10 minutes and I always have to bake mine for about 15 minutes or so. And along with the tart, because it is pretty small. Um, so if I'm serving this for dinner, I usually make a side salad with it. Um, but here is the side salad. And this is something new that I picked up from Trader Joe's, this Harvest Apple Salad Kit. And it comes with the spring mix, cheddar, apple cinnamon chips, pecans, and an apple vinaigrette. So super quick and easy dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am going to be using this Kinder seasoning. It was in my pantry, Chili Verde seasoning, and there are Instant Pot and Crock Pot directions. I am using the slow cooker on mine. So I have a pound and a half of pork shoulder that I cut, cut into chunks. Um, and then here's just the fat that I trimmed off of it. And then I just sprinkled that seasoning on top and then I used a spoon, stirred it up. And then it says you're supposed to add um, 16 ounces of salsa verde um, to it. And so I'm gonna add that. And then it says cook it on low for about eight hours. Okay, so here is our dinner all plated up. Of course, this is Howard's plate. He's got the avocado on there. And here it is in the crock pot. It actually only took about seven hours. It didn't need the full eight hours, but it is pretty tender. Let me show you here with my spoon. It just falls apart and it does have a good flavor. It does taste um, kind of herbaceous, um, but it's good. It's definitely pretty good, very tasty. Uh, I'm not sure how you're supposed to serve this, but uh, we're serving it on rice. I'm not sure if you're just supposed to eat it like a soup or, or what, but again, we're just having it with some rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so my pantry meal tonight is easy chicken casserole. And I found this recipe in an old church cookbook and I will make sure to put the recipe in the um, description box. But in this bowl, I have some of this Pepperidge Farm herb stuffing mix. I have that in there along with some melted butter and chicken broth. And right here, I have some chicken. Um, this is dark meat chicken, chicken legs actually, that I cooked and then I just took the meat off the bone. So that's probably about three cups of chicken. It calls for a whole chicken. So this is about three cups of chicken. It was about three pounds of chicken legs. And then in this bowl, I have cream of chicken soup and sour cream and I mixed it together. So the directions actually call for you to make this in a um, nine inch baking pan, but I am using an 11 by seven. I didn't want the casserole to be that thick. 
So you're supposed to layer half of the uh, stuffing mixture down, and then you put all of the chicken on top, and then you add the sour cream mixture on top of that, and then you just finish it with the rest of the stuffing mixture. And then you're supposed to bake it for half an hour uncovered. Okay, so here is the casserole before it goes into the oven. I definitely think if you make this recipe, you're gonna need to use like an 11 by seven. There's no way that all of this would have fit into a nine by nine. And I didn't end up using all of that chicken. I probably used about two cups and that was more than enough. Now, if you think you would like this recipe, I do have a traditional chicken and dressing casserole on our channel, one that my mom used to make when um, I was growing up, and I'll make sure to leave that in the description box as well, but I'm going to pop this into the oven. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up, and I did try the casserole. It is very good. I should have gone ahead and added all of the chicken um, because it kind of needs it once it cooks down. So it definitely could have used some more chicken, serving it with some mashed potatoes and leftover Brussels sprouts. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled chicken thighs and I actually grilled these on our charcoal grill. It just gives it such a good flavor. Um, and so I used this marinade and we really like it a lot. I use it for pork, I use it for beef, I use it for everything, it is really good. I found it at a Korean grocery store, but I've also seen it in Tom Thumb and other places, so uh, definitely check it out if you can. Um, but here is the chicken, and then on the side, I am serving some baby kale, and you can't see it in there, but I've mixed it with broccolini, so I stir fried it, and it just kind of wilted down. And then um, we're also having some doctored up mac and cheese on the side. So I just used this box of uh, mac and cheese that I had in my pantry to it. I added some cheddar cheese, sour cream, then I put some additional cheddar cheese on top and I baked it. Um, and it's really good. And I'll make sure to uh, find the recipe and leave it in the description box for you guys because I make it all the time. And then here are the rest of our uh, boneless skinless chicken thighs so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time